Hi, my name is Jackie Wong, and today I will be showcasing my top 10 favorite pictures from the photo composition assignment. The first is my only high dynamic range photograph in my list. This is a picture of the stairs in the back of Johnstone Hall. This picture was a good HDR candidate because of the contrasting highlights and shadows provided by the sharp corners and the sun. However, I did not like many of the pictures I took from this category primarily because of all the subjects I took were boring, due to the fact that I needed something with, well, a large range of highlights and shadows. Buildings do not particularly inspire much emotion for me. The second and third pictures are pan action photographs. Both of these were taken outside of the trustee house, with one subject as a stand and the other the orange bus. I like these two out of my 12 pan action photos because the subject is the clearest while the background is not blurred beyond recognition. I like the sedan picture especially because of the truck to the right. From this point of view, the subject was traveling through two planes of movement. Next is a stop motion photograph of the American and South Carolinian flag outside of Tillman Hall. I like this photo because it is very sharp, well at least as sharp as my camera can get. The flags are waving in the wind with a beautiful sky and great lighting by the sun and Tillman Hall grounds a photograph, since you can't see the actual ground. The first landscape photograph was taken outside of McAdams Hall in the middle of the street. There were no cars, so I had to take the opportunity to take a shot of the road. I like how the road markings lead your eyes to the end of the road, and the vertical asymmetry between the road and the sky. McAdams to the left and dead trees on the right also provide some man versus nature contrast. On to my top 5. Deciding between these and the top 3 were hard, so take the rankings with a grain of salt. Number 5. A stop action photo of me shaking some water out of a cup. I really like this picture. The sun was shining from the right, illuminating the water as it was falling out of the cup. The shutter speed was fast enough to not make it obvious my hand was shaking. Finally, the very low f-stop blurred the background from the subject. As you will see, I am a big fan of this. If the background were prettier, I think this photo would easily make my top 3. Number 4, a selective focus photo of my watch. I like watches, so I figured I would take some pictures of them for this assignment. I like the contrast between the good condition of the watch and the fire hydrant, as well as their colors. The sky was overcast, which makes the vibrant red and blue pop out even more. You can see a little bit of me, but I couldn't avoid it at this angle. Now for my top 3. Number 3, a selective focus photo of the tiger outside of Michi. I had to take at least one tiger picture since this is Clemson, so here we are. I think the overall framing and the manipulation of depth of field was very good. The bright sunlight highlighted the face of the restaurant and the tiger, and there were many matching colors, giving some rhythm. The edit adjusted the bright exposure and increased the bokeh effect. Number 2, a selective focus photo of the Edwards Hendrix bike share station. This was one of my first photographs, and I got really lucky with it. The bright orange contrasts with the black in the sign and the blue sky. The bold B draws your attention immediately towards itself, while the high rises are present in themselves in the background. Shadows are a bit lacking, but the overall composition was good. The edit adjusted the slightly bright exposure and adjusted the image so the high rises were straight. Finally, my number one, a landscape photo of McMillan Road. It was a rainy night, a perfect opportunity for me to attempt a low light shot. All my previous low light attempts were on phones, so I'm proud of this relatively clear and dynamic photograph. I also really like how the street lamps bounce off the road, and how the road leads your eyes. Unfortunately, I couldn't edit out the street lamp shake, but the edit did remove the lens flare on the top right, and remove the pole and some more flare on the left. Thank you for watching.